guys morning evening whatever time it is <laughs> I never know I always say that different each time it's oh. <laughs> anyway today we're in the middle of a project because my goal is to declutter this entire house because if I do I'm rewarding myself with new floors what? I don't want to do That's it before we're decluttered and that means upstairs and downstairs it has to be thoroughly decluttered every single drawer every single cupboard every closet Every oh storage box, every everything. That's a lot. That's so just... It may take me a year, it may take two years. I don't know. So we're starting with Halloween costumes. <laughs> because it's that time of year. And so Jordan pulled out all of our Halloween costumes and we're sorting them into piles. Finally, after all these years, I'm gonna let go of a lot of my Halloween costumes. They hold a lot of memories it's and so. sad. Okay, we've been saving these, you gotta understand. We've been saving these for like 20 years. It's kinda of sad, like <laughs> literally their very first costumes from when they were little until yeah. they're now grown. <laughs> it's like literally 20 years, like ever since Audrey started dressing up, so. So this is my pile right here. I'm starting, I have my thrift store pile right there and I have my keep pile here. I have this cute little lion costume that was one of Audrey's first costumes. Oh my that was gosh. her very second costume. Wait, I'm gonna hold it up. That I am going to let her decide if she wants to keep or not keep. It's so I love cute. that costume. It's so tricky because it's like we love it and it has so much like sentimental and like memories attached to it, but we never use it. It just never. sits it in just a bin stays there. all the time. So what's so the point like, of keeping it? I don't know, like every time we see it, we're like, oh my oh, gosh, so cute. But, but then it just sits in a like basket yeah. all the time. So, so that's kind of the purpose of this video is to document everything that we have because then I can easily let it go because it's on video. First off, my thrift store piles. These two costumes actually don't have a lot of memory, a little bit of memory. It is the prom corpse and the graveyard bride. Now these costumes were actually bought within the last year or two for Jordan's. She was doing a project at school where she was creating a video for I think homecoming or prom. And so we needed those costumes for part of her skit that she was creating for the school. This costume is a Rapunzel costume that Audrey wore, but it's already tearing. So we're gonna get rid of it. I think that was her third costume. Girls would always play dress up in that costume. Pretty sad, do you wanna hold it? This one is really sad too, but it has a lot of rips and tears in it. But yeah, we made a lot of like, I remember we were basically YouTubers before YouTube was a thing. <laughs> like all throughout growing up, we would make little cute home videos just for fun. Like yeah. Audrey and I would do it all the time and this was used in a lot of them. So it's kind of sad that it's going, but. It needs to go though. Then the girls had these little, um, the witches. witches. They were witches one year and I think Jordan was probably two or three years old. So uh, I, I was? Hold up your costume and we'll see. Dude, wait, okay. I think I did it when I was two or three years old, but also recently because I remember wearing this. Oh, yeah, maybe when I was recently. like a preteen. <laughs> no, you, when you were little, like, this is your costume. Oh, okay. Yes, You're like this is two years was, old. Yeah. Jordan. So like, when, this body cannot <laughs> see you, literally. This was Audrey's costume when, when she I was like this? five. Wait, did I wear this for a YouTube video? I think see? I did. I, Audrey's I was like, like, I remember this. You can't fit this. I, I had to have worn this. Like this. I had to have worn this for a YouTube video. I you had to. probably wore that, but you wore it with my like my Elvira dress, which was the black dress. That no, had it was. Like, so you cannot. It had to have been. Have worn it this. had to have been. Uh, what? Maybe there's another witch costume I'm somewhere. So confused. Okay, for all of y'all who have been no. OG fans from the start and who have watched our super early videos, if you remember me wearing this dress, there's no way. You Hold should send it to, to me. you. You should send it to me because. No possible Oh, I can way. still fit no, it. No, you can't. Dad, I can fit it. Jordan, <laughs> that is for like a five-year-old. Oh, oh my gosh. Those are all going. I love the witch costumes. I think they're so cute, and they were a lot of fun when the girls wore them. But it is time to move on. Jordan has this pile right here. She has a little gypsy, like a genie, kind of like Jasmine. I call it Jasmine costume, really. It's all folded up in this bag. You can see it more on her channel. She's going to do on Jordan May Williams a vlog of where she tries on some of her Halloween costumes. 
Then there's this angel costume that is also Jordan's. So she needs to decide whether to keep or get rid of those. She also has this NASA costume where she was an astronaut one year, um, which I think is way cute. I think it's pretty durable. Like I really like the durable costumes that are thicker and kind of like you piece them together. They didn't come in a Halloween costume kit. Those are my favorite. This little costume next was one that Ty wore a couple years ago. His brother was going to be a Grim Reaper and he wanted to have the same kind of look and feel. And so he wore this costume where he was like the spooky ghoul with this little face mask coming over it. And they both have like their Reaper swords or their Reaper staffs, like Grim Reaper. I don't think Ty will wear this one again this year. So we'll probably just go ahead and get rid of that. The boys will use these little uh, skeleton handbags with their Grim Reapers. So that then the, um, they would collect their candy right here. I remember, that was so really cute. They, they liked this, but honestly, when they collected their candy, they would put it in here and, and then, then go back into the car and dump it in a bigger bag. Well, in a pillowcase or a big trick or treat bag. I so it was that. like, what's the point of hanging on to this if they're not really going to use this? Yeah, they would only use it if they were the Grim Reaper yeah. again, but I don't think it's so cute that. though to reach out your hand like, here, yeah. give me candy. Okay, this is not a Halloween costume, but it was Jake's little Webkins dragon. And I kind of want to get rid of it. The girls won't let me get rid of any of their webkins. Oh, but I kind of wanted to like. I think I'm gonna get rid of this webkins. I kind of love the webkins, and I kind of want to keep it and put it on my bed. You're gonna put the webkins on your bed, this webkins? <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Here, see, I kind of like really love it, but at the same time, I don't know. It is so cute, but I don't want to hang on to I've it. And been, someone else could love it. I've been really into webkins and silly bands, like my childhood things lately. Moving on to another tote. <laughs> This Ato is so great. Guys, this costume is like one of my favorites because I hand made this costume. Oh my goodness. Back in the day, I used yes. to be pretty before YouTube. I had a little bit more time on my hands and so I would make all our costumes. Like, Mom I pretty much hand made a lot of so stuff. So skilled. But she would make like all the costumes from scratch and everything. So literally, yeah. So I'm skilled. Not that skilled, but I did piece things but together. But it was so good. good. So this is just like a big old robe that I sewed and I sewed one in black and one in brown. And then me and David would use these for different costumes, whether it was like a witch or a monk or just like a creepy person, like in a robe. And we could tie like belts around them. So just a plain basic, it was just a basic black robe. And then we let our imagination be whatever. Like you could be like, I know they had like, makeup stuff where you could have it so it looks like half your face is peeling off. And so we used to do these full on face costumes, like like really do heavy makeup FX. This you costume I am costume keeping because this is like such good quality and it's a basic. I like to keep basic robes. So there's this one too. Yeah, cause that could be still used a lot in like there's either videos or for like I just, just Well, you stuff. can use it for anything in your imagination. It's a great yeah. basic piece for a Halloween costume. Yes. So I'm also keeping this one, even though the Uncle Fester mask looks nothing like Uncle Fester. It's really cheesy, but I'm going to keep it just because like I said, a robe is a basic piece when you're trying to be spooky and <laughs> it creepy. It does make it kind of easy so, to like dress up for yeah, a bunch of different things. Yeah, many different things. So I like robes. I'm keeping the robes. Um, I'm keeping these. I have a mixture of all these little party suits yeah. in different colors. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why either. I don't know why I'm keeping them, but I am going to keep them. They're more recently purchased. The boys We've used them in a like lot of videos. Them. Yeah, they're kind of fun. We have used them in a few videos, especially like these green ones. If you recall, like our alien videos, we oh used my them with green screens where you can't yes. see the person in the suit, but you might see their head and it looks like their head's like yes. floating in the air. We've so used these for green screen stuff. We've it's used so cool. These. It works so good. Um, this one is our clown is costume. Oh my now goodness. this is our cheer cheerful clown. It's a friendly clown. Oh, wow. It's an annoying clown. This clown costume was purchased for a villain's I remember. Video. Yes, I remember. I kind of like the clown costume. I kind of like it too. Clowns don't scare me. I yeah. think we should keep it. These are They're amazing. Cool. We did like a little um, yeah. video with the Lay's 
chips. They have reflective, like yeah, all of this, yeah, reflective. And this is re light shining on it, or like if there's car headlights or anything, yeah. you can see it very clearly, which is super important for and like they are at night. so durable. They're very durable. So durable. So I'm keeping these because they can hold candy, and I love the reflected. Yeah, this light makes me feel like very safe. Material. It's very reflective, especially if car headlights go on it, so that way cars can see you, which I really like. Okay, so this is <laughs> Pirate Bloomer. Pirates. I think I wore this last year for Halloween because we were all pirates and our yard was decorated as pirates. Yes, our pirate now, theme. Now, we probably won't be pirates again, but our yard will be pirate themed. We may be something else. However, yeah. I am going to keep all pirate costumes and this is why. Because if you ever go on a Disney cruise, they have pirate night oh my goodness, where you get to dress yes. up as pirates. So anything pirate related, I'm hanging on to unless it's like outgrown and we can't fit anymore. Just in case we ever do make it back on a Disney cruise. Oh, that'd be so amazing. We will keep I our pirate themed stuff. This I have no clue. I think it goes to a ninja costume, but I need to find another piece of the ninja. Because I remember that red. <gasps> yes, I wore this. I wore this ninja, ninja one. Yes, it was me. Okay. It was me. Oh my goodness. I don't know where that is. I remember this and I remember posting it on Instagram. <laughs> That's the distinctive memory I have with this, is literally posting it on Instagram. This is my creepy clown why. costume. Oh yeah. I don't know the that I want to keep the creepy clown costume. I don't plan on being a creepy clown again. If I get rid of it. We haven't used it in a long time. Woo! Okay. Then we have the um, Two good old wig collection. It's just a wig. This I'm keeping only because this wig has been used for so many school, <laughs> school book reports. Yes. And if they need to dress up for Halloween, because schools sometimes like, they don't let you dress up unless you're a character in a book. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. This is keeping, have to keep that wig. We've we used have it. used that Okay, a these are, I think this is our jumpsuits. I think me and David were like oh. escapees one year. Prison break. I oh, I like remember it. this. Yes. Wow. That, yeah, I may keep these only for the fact that they're. Hold yes, on, wait, that's really fun. Oh, and Logan has his little prison yes. outfit. He has this one little prisoner outfit that he wore that's the most comfiest yes. that he loves the best. It's so cute. So, and we're gonna be matching with hang us. on to this mostly because they're adult sizes, and when you need a quick costume and you can't find one, that's easy. This is so perfect. We could just come and grab this. This year, we aren't really sure how the entire um, Halloween situation is going to be going because of the whole Christmas situation. We aren't really sure <laughs> if we can go out and trick-or-treat or not. We're most likely not gonna be trick-or-treating, but instead, we're just gonna decorate our yard and stuff and make it fun for people who like drive by and like to look at decorations, like kind of like during Christmas time when you look at the lights, but Halloween version. And then we're just gonna watch movies and maybe eat candy that we got from the store or something. But that'd be a really fun way to dress up, but still be comfy, because it's just literally yeah, like a jumpsuit so or like a onesie that you could just wear while watching movies and still feel festive, but comfy. This one is Jordan's Alice in Wonderland wig. Yeah. If you wanna see more of her Alice in Wonderland costume and our whole Alice in Wonderland Paul, check out Jordan Mae Williams because she shows yeah. you a little bit more of that. So um, cute. Then we have a few other wigs, and I think I'll probably keep them because I like wigs. So yeah, they're just a good variety of different types of wigs. This and one actually, yeah, my goal has been for probably the last ten years to get our family to be themed as mad scientists. Oh my goodness. And I've never yes. been able to do it to make us all mad scientists. That's so true. So I'm gonna hang on to this, even though the wig's we kind need of to weird. Do that. We need but, to do that. But I thought it could be fun if some people were like the crazy scientists and some people were like these weird like creatures that were like maybe part animal, part different animal, part human. Yeah. Then, like, That'd be a project way cool. that went wrong or something. So maybe you have a tentacle for an arm or just something weird. Okay, hey, Jordan, are you keeping or getting rid of your Nassau oh, suit? I love it is the good because it's one. adult size. Should yeah. we keep it because it's adult? I could use it and then, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like keep because that's an easy It's costume. a good quality one too, it's and it took quality. forever for me to find. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it. What about your um, oh. Jasmine? costume. Oh, oh, Ruby I really love not. that one. It's tiny, I'm 18. Size a. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna fit that. Okay, this is so hard because there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to fit that again, but I have so many memories attached to it. What are you going to do? Keep or get rid of? 
you can donate it because it's still really good and it's really cute. But I really love it. Oh, okay. I miss it. Angel. <gasps> if you want to hear the story behind the angel costume, also check out the Jordan May Williams vlog because she's going to talk about why this oh, costume a, is sentimental to her. There is a really funny story behind it, actually. So, like, you will never fit it. Are you getting yeah. rid of it? Yeah. We're going to go fast. Here's a little mad scientist thing. I'm going to hang on to this, even though it says only size 8 to 10, only because maybe I could convince the family to be mad scientists this year. <laughs> I want this to This is it. a Star Wars outfit. Uh, what are, is this Bobo Feta? I don't even know. I don't know my Star Wars, but I'm getting rid of it. Decorations! We need to decorate for Halloween, Mother! Mother, can we decorate for Halloween, please? We can, we can. Oh, so, I want to do it so Since bad. we're doing this, it's officially Halloween, so we'll put, how about we start here? We'll just put this little, like, yes. thing here. So this okay. is really cute because you can put a candle in there, and the little windows will flicker when it's, it's dark. It's so cute. So. I love it. <laughs> Wait, this is Christmas stuff. This is Christmas. Oh. No, all right, we don't need this box. I was gonna say this is a big belly for Santa's belly because one year <laughs> oh it's funny. Goodness. Jordan, Audrey, and David were the Grinch, Santa, and Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf. That's right. And so this was for the Santa belly, and they oh went goodness. in town in it was public a little and took pictures with people. Cowboy hat. Oh. Your little pirate. Okay, we have to get rid of this pirate though, even though it's Jordan's little fit? pirate. But we have so many good it's pictures so of it. so little. You were like four or something? I was not four. Ty was born. Oh. I was not four! It is so I tiny. Was not four. It is so tiny. Okay, I've always been tiny though, but like that's okay, that's okay. just I don't know. No, we had Ty was born and he wasn't a baby. I remember fair the entire fair photo fair shoot fair. of that. Okay, and this one was Audrey's. This was pieced together. We're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of the hat. But Hello, then... Father. Welcome back home. We We're are costumes. cleaning out the Halloween stuff. Oh, uh, this is a little Jack Sparrow costume. Ty's? Jake's? I don't know. This one. Oh, here it is. This is the Alice in Wonderland outfit. Oh, that that's the rest of it. Ty oh. was like the little white rabbit, and he had little white rabbit ears Cute. that he wore with these, and a little stopwatch, and he wore this little vest. <laughs> So this was his little white rabbit costume. Aww, Getting cute. rid of that though. Um, oh, this was when Audrey was the queen of the Nile. So she cute. was an Egyptian. Cleopatra. That was also very cute. We're gonna get rid of it though. Year, that was from years ago. This is one that I handmade before they even came out. Oh this my goodness. This was not out. This was when we did the uh, Nightmare, Before, Nightmare Christmas Before Christmas theme. And I looked everywhere for this dress because I thought, I'm just going to buy it. It's too hard to make. They didn't sell they it, did anywhere. Not have it anywhere. Now you can find it in store. Okay, wait. Keep I that made this one. Because I might use that. You can't fit into Dude. this. Dude. Okay, wait. But I so might. What I did is I took a piece of her, like a dress that she actually had and I started chopping it and then piecing around these other ones on the okay. outside of it to make wait. her own costume. But dude, um, I don't know if y'all so. know, but we are getting a puppy. What? <laughs> really soon. I don't know when this video is going up, but we are getting a puppy. And one of the names I have on the list, this is a sneak peek information that I've never oh. told at, before on the internet as of right now. I don't know when this video goes up. But one of the names I had on the list was Zero because I think that's really cute. <laughs> I don't know why, but like kind of also since we're getting him around Halloween and also since we love the Nightmare Before Christmas and then he could be dressed up as like Zero the ghost dog from that show and I could be Sally and it'd yeah. be really cute. I don't even know if you will like costumes or not. <laughs> this one is also from the Alice in Wonderland. This is a little costume I pieced together for Jake. He was the Mad Hatter. He had a super tall hat that went really big for the Mad Hatter and then he just had these fun little crazy clothes with a vest and pants and a sash. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of that because it does not fit him. This was Still cool yes, though. No. You're throwing them all away. I'm no, we're don't we're away. donating most of them. Okay, this goes along with when we were being the Nightmare Before Christmas. David yes. was supposed to be Jack Skellington. However, at the time, he was working as a manager. What were you? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no business he consultant. He was a coach. He was a business consultant. Anyway, every <laughs> year on like, oh, <laughs> every year on Halloween, he would go to a convention. They scheduled it on Halloween day, so he yeah, never so got sad. to be part of our Halloween costumes. So I don't know if he was even in a picture for this one. I think he's he still dressed up it. for a picture and stuff before. This is our last Halloween box. Last one. Here's oh the brown goodness. robe that I was talking about that I hand made when I made the black robe. I'm keeping that oh, one. Oh, the Hulk hands. The Hulk These Hulk have been in memories. so many videos, y'all. So. <laughs> I don't know that we need the whole count. We haven't them. used these in a while, we'll so just I don't know. Get rid of them. But they have a lot of memories. And the Mickey Hit Mouse hands were used at the same time. We have another Star Wars costume because you're just eating both. them. Literally, like woo! Oh, it's both want to be Star Wars. Oh, if you go back Whoa. to Audrey and oh Jordan's old videos, you'll see these. Oh my goodness, troll! Okay, this specific video you're looking for is a troll video. Glow in the dark. Glow in the dark trolls, trolls video. And you will find that. Dude, that was a cool video. Like that, that was a cool video. Video. Um, Spider Man. Spider Man. I think five was, yeah, I was that like was when he was so little. Was oh my so goodness. Tiny. I was so, so little. Tiny. See, I hold on to everything. Spider Man. Uh, this is. Oh, I'm going to show you this. This is like. Audrey was probably three. And this was actually not a Halloween costume. It was her little <gasps> dance oh, costume. It's really cute. She wore this, but maybe two or three. Yes, and she did nice. like little ballet. And so this was her little performance costume, and oh, then afterwards she wore it as like a dress up. But look at it, it's such good condition. Yeah, are you kidding me? After all those years, like 18 years later. Okay, one thing to know about us is that we take really good care of our stuff. Like stuff for us lasts a long time. This is How Jake's is? kindergarten graduation costume. <gasps> they wore for kindergarten, kindergarten graduation. Oh my gosh. It's oh so my cute. gosh. It's so cute! Anyway, that's pretty much what we have to sort through. I think we did pretty good. We're keeping a tiny pile, getting rid of a lot of stuff, letting it go. That's pretty good. So what are you guys going to be for Halloween this year? We haven't figured it out, but cross my fingers, I'll convince everyone to be mad scientists. <laughs> I don't know. He already yeah, has his plan. That is the question. What is David gonna be? Question. What? From that hint, <laughs> down below, do What do you I'll think be? it is? Oh? Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along with us on this cleaning journey of our Halloween costumes. And we'll see you next time. Bye.